Namaste. This is Priya Sundar presenting Morris Natya in collaboration with Bali Hawk, the English folk band. My name is Ramya Thangirala. Tonight I will be on Carnatic vocals as well as the instrument Veena. I'm Robert McKenzie and I'm playing the bass and the banjo tonight. My name is Pratap Ramachandra and I'm the South Indian percussionist for tonight's show. I'm Hannah James and I'm the lighting technician for Morris Yam. My name is Bob Johnston and I'm playing the fiddle. My name is Lisa. I am doing all the Morris dancing and I've also choreographed a lot of Morris dancing in the show tonight. My name is Ray Phillips and I'm playing the flute in the Cayley Band that should come in the dancing. initially did as a one-off charity fund project. We played charity gig for the hospital and we were there as a Cayley band and Priya was there as the Indian dancer and she said that she would like to try and do some Indian dancing to a, a Morris dancing tune which we subsequently did. It was a fusion but it was English music and Indian dance alone. It was just one piece choreographed but then the idea was good and it was well received by the audience. I thought we could take it forward and I approached Arts Council England for support and they kindly agreed. I think the reason that Laurel thought of me when she saw the project was because I really like mixing things up. I'm not a traditionalist. I like to take something and make something new out of it rather than just sticking with what you know, people have done before. I've played with a lot of the different genres of music. I've never played with the English folk music and classical music so this is a very rare combination of folk and classical coming together. I found Priya and I absolutely fell in love with her classes and the dance floor. What we're trying to do is to see if we can bring two heritage inspired dances together. Indian Bharatanatyam and Morris dancing from England. Priya has a beautiful vision for bringing people together through Indian dance and music. Morris Natyam is a classic example of that, which unites talented artists from two rich art forms, from two different traditions. So the main challenge for me has been being so far away, because I live in Bristol and everyone else is in Carlisle. It's difficult working remotely across the country, so we've got people from all over, hundreds and hundreds of miles apart. We've only been together for two weekends. So it's quite intense. Although I'm English, I'm not really that familiar with the Morris dancing. Notating the Carnatic music for the Western band, the key and the time signatures in a way that we could play together and for me to learn their Western bit and play it on my Indian instrument. As a classical musician, we come with a very strict trained musicians with very strict rules so trying to think outside the box was quite interesting for me to work. We're not just talking about different cultures but we're talking about completely different forms of dance. We've got a classical dance form and the way that it's structured and that sort of thing is very different from a folk dance. Something that is really important in Bharatanatyam that Morris dancers don't think about so much is your eyes and what you do with your eyes and I, I think looking at the audience and looking over here and look you know you can really say a lot just with your eyes you know even if you're doing big things with your hands or you know you've got bells on your legs. The project has given her an excellent platform to experiment with her creativity and to blossom as a dancer and as a choreographer. She's very passionate about her dance it's very strong in the culture and it's something that she really loves and she wants to develop it and always wanting to better herself as an artist and I think she really does that and she really achieves it. For any dance or music productions when you present it for the first time you are thinking how are the audience going to receive it? 
I think the audience tonight probably won't quite know what they've got themselves in for. The Barrett Natyam, I'm sure, will probably be new to a lot of people. And to be honest, the Morris dancing too. A lot of people might have seen a little bit of Morris dancing here or there, but it's not something that everybody in England really knows an awful lot about. As a dancer myself, I can really appreciate the fusion and how beautiful it is, and I think the audience will appreciate that as well and find it really enthralling and really exciting to watch. Because this is a fusion, and it is cultural fusion, traditional fusion and dance fusion, it's bringing together and sharing, so we would love to do as much as possible.